Hey everyone, good morning, welcome back to the channel. So yesterday was supposed to be electric work day and that didn't happen simply because this space is tiny. And because this space is tiny, it has to be very well thought of. Every single thing that goes in here has to be planned meticulously before going in here. Otherwise, down the line, you're going to encounter problems. And one of the problems I had yesterday, I had a sink stuck in here that was a pain in my butt. I had to remove it in order to put the shower there so I can see where the rest of the items are going to go and be set up. So right now, this is what I got going. Showers over there, fridge is over there. Next to it, we're going to have the stove. I might put a little bit of a a little bit of a shelf there to just have some kind of a shelf or some kind of a place to put stuff next to it. And this is going to be our counter space. And I'm going to put, obviously, you can see the sinks there, so I'm going to install a different sink there that is meant for a kitchen and that will also double as our sink to wash our hands. So after I placed everything and we know where everything's going to go and things are far away from each other in terms of water and electricity, and it's not dangerous anymore, then today is electric day. Today we can start our electric work. Uh, hopefully, I'll get to finish. I really have to run a few lines to the box and maybe put up a couple of boxes. But really, what I need is to run those lines. So, you guys have fun watching and I'll catch you later. Alright, so here are my thoughts about this. So this is our panel. That's the bedroom, right? In between, we need a couple of outlets. They're not going to be using a ton of power. So I thought about just running one line that will feed all of them. We're going to have an outlet right there for the TV. It's going to sit right there. We're going to have an outlet right in that corner just in case for laughs and giggles and whatever. We're going to have an outlet right there at the corner for the nightstands, I guess. And an outlet right there at that corner for another nightstand. T uh, the bed's going to sit in the middle here. And over there we're going to have dressers. Over here we're going to have a table full of computers. Basically my editing station setup that's going to be right here. So, what I thought about doing is pretty simple actually. I'm going to feed, feed that entire line on just one circuit. That shouldn't be a problem because it's not going to consume a ton of power. Now, the next idea is right here is going to be a doorway, the entrance way to the bedroom. So, I thought about putting a bunch of electrical switches for lights on this pole right here. I think that would be very convenient. Now, I gotta run some separate lines. I think I'm gonna do three of them for the kitchen. One for the microwave, dedicated. Actually, no, two of them would be enough. Two lines, that's all I need. All right, see that? camera on me this will be working on your side it's switch so that's our fridge that's our stove microwave is gonna go above the stove right about there on a shelf
So this is going to be the feed for the main light system. Now, since it is just me and my wife, and we don't really care about code, I'm not going to even measure the height of this thing. I'm going to choose a spot that's good for me. That would be good. I'm going to call that good. So, I'm going to show you the boxes, and everybody is going to immediately react. You got the wrong boxes. Well, yes, I know I got the wrong boxes. But again, I'm not doing this based on code, so I don't really care. These boxes have mounts that are meant for wood. Well, I'm obviously not going to use them. I'm going to drill two holes in the back. Just look like that. Nothing wrong with it. It's going to work fine. So, let's get to it. So, this is going to be our main box to feed the two lights out here. Cut it, trim it, use the leftovers for bridging. Put a couple of switches on it in a minute. Just nice to do nice work. Looks straight. 